Yep, this is a memorial dedicated to all the men that have committed suicide due to the failure of the family law, due to the preservation of the status quo that is actually the residential school system. The residential school system is well and alive, it's preserved by all the justices, especially the ones that are Roman Catholic, Irish, which have preserved, which have preserved the evils of the residential schools within the very laws. The laws of the land are the residential school system. The status quo is the residential school system. And this is right over here with all these people. Right over there is the courthouse. Right over there is the cops house. And right behind this is the is the MPP, Bob Bailey's office. The man, all these people are to blame for the failure of family law, for the perpetuation of the residential school system in family law. We are going to have a hunger strike and get justice. Class action lawsuit is coming, sir. We really can't put up with this boobly goobly anymore. This total failure of justice, failure of everything, the perpetuation of standing law. Our children are being trafficked. Our youth are failing to opioid crisis. Why? Because of this, because of the failure and the perpetuation of the status quo, which is indeed the insidious residential school. So, ladies and gentlemen, system. Welcome, welcome, yep. welcome this is a to the purple pages to all the men that have committed to Frank Fay, forthright, realistic appraisal and review of legal professionals in our area. When you are in need of a legal representation, it's very hard to find out who is real and who is not, and who is working, who has a comprehension about the best interest of the child, and who hates your children. So, this is an attempt to bring to you clarity in making a decision in getting representation in uh, any kind of matters, because After 16 years at the uh, bench, you realize it is not about the truth. The truth can go fuck itself. The truth, what is the truth? Truth is like, who gives a damn about the truth? Who gives a damn about the interest of the child? Only thing that they care about is perspective, about misleading about technical raising technical issues, about circumnavigating the law, about finding loopholes in the law. That is what the law is. That, that is what the feel of the law is. It is to find workarounds the law, to find exceptions in the law, to rely on past judgments that are close to your thing that can be used and abused to get you off the hook. The law is not about upholding society. The law is not about caring about uh, the good benefit of the society. The law is all about if you got the money, if you have to, if you belong to a segment of society that you know, has a sway. So, ladies and gentlemen, today I present to you Mr. Mark Simpson. He, he practices in uh, London, Ontario, and all over. He practices from Th Thunder Bay right up to Senior. He spreads himself very thin. He doesn't really care. You know, he uh, he's not going to reel anybody's file. He knows exactly what to say. He's a master. You should get him if you are into human trafficking. 
you must get him on your team if you are into the usual the oldest profession you know uh, Ontario has a big human trafficking problem and why is that we have to thank Mr. Simpson for his kind contribution towards keeping up the gross domestic produce of uh, human trafficking like throughout the 401 and 402 areas we have like uh, human trafficking Ontario is one of the biggest things especially Sonia Lambton and how is it possible thanks to Mr. Simpson Mr. Simpson's dedication to to making sure that human traffickers, child molesters, child abductors can function with absolute arrogant impunity beyond any kind of, you can't touch him man, you can't touch him when you get yourself Mr. Simpson. So if you is into those child abduction, child molestation, if you're a child molester, if you have committed crimes against children, if you want to do perpetrate parental alienation, if you want to perpetrate bad, you know, abduction, and if you want to like uh, destroy the lives of children, if you want to like uh, think you must get Mark Simpson and his team. They're the best. He, there's nothing comparable over there. Like screw you and your truth. When you got Mark Simpson, he will help you circumnavigate the law. And it's like, you know, the law and motions and trial is plain and simple. It is like pinning the tail on the elephant. That's, of course, now the justice has his blind, you know. So all you got to do them is spin them around in circles and then shove them in the wrong direction and there you go they will pin the tail on the nose that is the abilities that is the capabilities that is the abilities of mr simpson and the simpson law professional law firm he is undoubtedly highly comes highly recommended for child molesters child abductors um, any kind of criminals against children. He will help you perpetrate it and defend you whatever it takes. If it, even if it takes to lying, he'll do it. Misrepresentation, show, will, can do so. Lying is part of the, the job. He lies uh, through his teeth. Uh, he lies every day. He's a proven liar. Absolute proven liar proven misleader but the thing is one thing is you must have the money if you don't have the money you can go like you can't get in the profession but after all you what are you doing child molestation child abuse child abduction and you don't have money well no it's all about the money sir you gotta have the money and only then you will be been theirs as the Dr. Singh, Dr. Singh says, you will be binders if you get Mark Simpson. Now, he also has a good um, relationship with uh, the Irish junta, like the, the perpetrators of the 60s scoop. He is, he is, he has sworn to uphold the policies of the 60s scoop. Every child may matter to you, but to Simpson, every child that is inducted into human trafficking matters. You can't miss one, man. You have to keep up the gross domestic produce of Sanya, which is human trafficking. This is the MPP, Bob Bailey's office. The man, all these people are to blame for the failure of family law for the perpetuation of the residential school system in family law we are going to have a hunger strike and get justice class action lawsuit is coming sir 
we really can't put up with this gubble gubble anymore. This total failure of justice, this is failure of everything, the perpetuation of the family law. Our children are being trafficked. Our youth are failing to opioid crisis. Why? Because of this, because of the failure and the perpetuation of the status quo, which is indeed the insidious presidential school by all the justices system. The ones that are Roman Catholic. Yep, Irish, this is a memorial dedicated to yeah, all the men that have committed suicide due to the failure of the family law. law. Due to the, the laws of the land of are the status quo school system. That the status quo is, is actually the residential school system. system. And the this residential right school system is well and alive, it's all preserved. People by right all the justices, the courthouse, especially the ones right that are Roman the Catholic, Catholic house, Irish, and which right have behind preserved, is which have preserved the, the evils of the residential schools within the very laws. The, MPP, the laws Bob of the Bailey's land office, are the, man, the residential the school system. Are to blame. The status quo is the residential school system. The failure this is of family right law. Over here, the perpetuation of the residential school people, system Right over there is the courthouse. Right over there is the cops. We house. They're going to have a hundred right behind this to get justice. Is Class action lawsuit is coming. We really can't put up with this. Bob people Bob Bailey's office. The man. All these people are to blame for the failure of family law, for the perpetuation of the residential school system in family law. We are going to have a hunger strike and get justice. Class action lawsuit is coming, sir. We really can't put up with this gubble gubble anymore. This total failure of justice, failure of everything, the perpetuation of family law. Our children are being trafficked. Our youth are failing to opioid crisis. Why? Because of this because of the failure and the perpetuation of the status quo, which is indeed the insidious residential school. Yep, this is a memorial dedicated to all the men that have committed suicide due to the failure of the family law, due to the preservation of the status quo that is actually the residential school system. The residential school system is well and alive, it's preserved by all the justices, especially the ones that are Roman Catholic, Irish, which have preserved, which have preserved the evils of the residential schools within the very laws. The laws of the land are the residential school system. The status quo is the residential school system. And this is right over here with all these people. Right over there is the courthouse. Right over there is the cops house. And right behind this is the is the MPP, Bob Bailey's office. The man, all these people are to blame for the failure of family law for the perpetuation of the residential school system in family law. We are going to have a hunger strike and get justice. Class action lawsuit is coming, sir. We really can't put up with this gubble gubble anymore. This total failure of justice, failure of everything, the perpetuation of family law. Our children are being trafficked. Our youth are failing to opioid crisis. Why? Because of this, because of the failure and the perpetuation of the status quo, which is indeed the insidious residential school system. Yep, this is a memorial dedicated to all the men that have committed suicide due to the failure of the family law due to the preservation of the status quo that is actually the residential school system.
The residential school system is well and alive. It's preserved by all the justices, especially the ones that are Roman Catholic, Irish, which have preserved, which have preserved the evils of the residential schools within the very laws. The laws of the land are the residential school system. The status quo is the residential school system. And this is right over here with all these people. Right over there is the courthouse. Right over there is the cops house. And right behind this is the is the MPP, Bob Bailey's office, the man, all these people are to blame for the failure of family law, for the perpetuation of the residential school system in family law. We are going to have a hunger strike and get justice. Class action lawsuit is coming, sir. We really can't put up with this goobly goobly anymore. This total failure of justice, failure of everything, the perpetuation of standing law. Our children are being trafficked. Our youth are failing to opioid crisis. Why? Because of this. Because of the failure and the perpetuation of the status quo, which is indeed the insidious residential school system. One, then you have to keep up the gross domestic produce of Sanya, which is human trafficking and drug peddling and drug addiction. Now, you can't really stop production. Like, what are we going to eat now? Well, how are we going to live? What are we going to show our face in society and to this earth when we are not? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the purple pages of Frank Fay forthright, realistic appraisal and review of legal professionals in our area. When you are in need of a legal representation, it's very hard to find out who is real and who is not and who is working, who has a comprehension about the best interest of the child and who hates your children. So this is an attempt to bring to you clarity in making a decision in getting representation in uh, any kind of matters because after 16 years at the uh, bench you realize it is not about the truth. The truth can go fuck itself. The truth, what is the truth? Truth is like, who gives a damn about the truth? Who gives a damn about the interest of the child? Only thing that they care about is perspective, about misleading, about technical raising technical issues, about circumnavigating the law, about finding loopholes in the law. That is what the law is. That, that is what the feel of the law is. It is to find workarounds the law, to find exceptions in the law, to rely on past judgments that are close to your thing that can be used and abused to get you off the hook. The law is not about upholding society. 